Hi, I'm Diane Zuckman. You may also know me as Cookie Stamper. And today I'm here to show you how to make a mini blind card. Before we get started, I'll show you the supplies that you'll need. You need a, a scoring tool. I'm using the score pal, some score tape, some cardstock and pattern papers, the large rectangle nest abilities. 18 inches of a ribbon and I like to use a needle to thread my ribbon through and I'm using the a tapestry needle. I like these because they have a nice blunt end and a large eye to feed the ribbon through. A crocodile, a decorative, decorative edge punch, some stamps, I'm using the Paper Smooches Swanky Snow Dudes, some ink, and some glue, and I think we're about ready to get started. I'm going to move this aside. And to begin, we're going to start with our card base, folded in half, and we're going to attach a layer. I just like to get, make sure I get some glue in the center because we'll be die cutting and opening and I want it to pretty much stick across the whole surface. I'm going to use my die cutting machine. And using the next to largest of the rectangle nest abilities, the large rectangles, I'm going to die cut an opening. Try to get that centered. And it's only going to cut through the card front. Run that through. And I'll set that aside. So now we have a nice window opening in the front of our card. And next we're going to make a little window frame to go around it. So what I t did was took a piece of chocolate chip card stock and I'm going to use the same die that I used to cut the opening and also the largest. <clears throat> so you're using the the next to largest and the largest of the rectangle nest abilities, the large rectangles. Get them centered, the, the sm smaller one centered inside the larger I usually take a piece of tape to hold it in place and you're going to run that through and die cut that as well. I have one that I've already cut so I'll use that and I'm going to attach that sorry if you can't see right to the outside of the opening there. Got that a little off, but that's okay. Now if you don't have the rectangle nest abilities, uh, there's lots of window dies out there now that you could uh, try to use one of those. I haven't personally used one. Um, all I would suggest is that you need to adjust the width of your blind for the opening of your die cut. Um, also, you could just simply cut a 2 and 3 eighth inch by 3 inch opening with your paper trimmer or a craft knife. Now, next we're going to make the blind. Let's set these aside. 
I'm going to take a piece of decorative paper and decide which side you want as the top or the bottom. Some patterns it may matter. This one it really doesn't. And you're going to score the, the blind every 3 8 inch. So to do that on the score pal, first you're going to line it up against the left edge and you're going to score at 3 8 3 quarters one and a half, two and one quarter, three, three and three quarters, and four and a half. I'm not going to do all these. Won't make you wait and watch me. Um, next, you're going to move this paper over just one eighth of an inch so that the left edge of that paper is on the one eighth inch uh, score line. And then you're going to score it at one and a quarter two, two and three quarter, three and a half, and four and a quarter. Now I have one that I have already finished. And you're going to choose which uh, end you want as the top. And whichever one you want as the top, you're going to make that first fold a valley fold. So it's going to look like this. And you're just going to accordion fold the whole piece and using your crop -a dial check which is the smallest side, with the smallest hole see if I can line this up you're going to punch a hole and then punch the other end you can kind of see through the side if you squeeze lightly where it's lining up in there and just punch holes on either end so when you're done you can unfold it and this is what it's going to look like you have this accordion folded window blind with holes through both sides. Now, what we need to do next is uh, trace. We're going we're gonna to lay this aside and I'm going to grab a, a pencil and we need to trace the window opening to the inside of the card. Now since I am using a colored cardstock for my base and I want a snowy scene outside my window, I'm going to go ahead and glue a uh, neutral color or white here piece of cardstock to the inside before I trace. Now I'm going to lightly trace that opening onto the inside of my card. And those lines we're going to use as a guide. Now I already have my paper smooches snowmen. So cute. On an acrylic block. So using these pencil lines as a guide I'm going to stamp them and next we're going to color it. Well, I'm not going to take the time to color it for you but uh, after you're done coloring or do any uh, paper piecing or anything you like to the images then you're going to go ahead and erase those pencil lines. And now your images will be placed exactly where you want them. You have them all colored. Then we're going to attach the blind to the window. 
Now remember which side was your top. It'll have your valley fold first. I'm going to take a piece of score tape and stick it to the top of the blind. And now I'm going to put it through the front opening of the window. And I want to make sure that this first crease or fold on the blind is lined up with the bottom edge of the window. So if you get that in there, just kind of get it to sit into that fold and then glue it down. And it should be perfect. Now, <clears throat> you need to um, apply some either glue or score tape. I'm just going to, I like to use a score tape, but for time, I'm just going to glue this. Okay, your card is going to be glued shut. It's not going to open like a normal card. You could leave it open if you wish, but I prefer not to have the unfinished, uh, the back side of that mini blind showing. Plus, I think when you're using the, the blind mechanism, it just makes for a sturdier card to go ahead and glue it shut. And you can either write your message on the inside or on the back. Next, you're going to take your piece of ribbon and thread it through that large-eyed tapestry needle. And starting at the top, go ahead and accordion fold this all back up again. And it's so easy to use a needle. Start at the top, poke it through, go across the bottom, and back up the top. And that's it. Just adjust it so the ends are even. You're going to knot the ends of your ribbon. Decorate your card however you like. Um, to make a valance, if you would like to create a valance, you can take... Let me see where I have... I lost my little... Oh, here it is. I'm going to take a little piece of... Uh, cardstock or paper, uh, score the three-quarter inch side. I like to put it over on the right side of my score pal. Since I'm right-handed, I can uh, hold it with my left easier that way. Score the three-quarter inch side at one-quarter inch. So I'm going to come over one-quarter. So at 11 and three-quarters, I'm going to make that score line. Fold it. And then you're going to punch the opposite end. Okay, so the, the wider section, you're going to punch a decorative edge with your scallop edge punch. And it's going to look like this. I don't know if you can see with that pattern on the paper. It has a scalloped edge on it. And you're going to attach it, just glue it right to your uh, top of your window. I have one that's finished here, so you can see. I knotted the ends of the ribbon, added a little snowflake. Now to use uh, the ribbons to open the window, you're going to hold on to the ribbons on either side and pull in opposite directions. So as you pull in the opposite direction, the blind goes up and you see those cute little snowy guys outside. Now this card would be cute for any season. That's what's so great about these windows. Um, window die cuts or whatever, you know, any type of window opening. You can make a summer, fall, winter uh, scene outside, no matter what. Um, and these cards are also great for mailing. I measured and um, scored the blind so that it would